it real money? I'm like, well, no money's real money. <laughs> you know, we just gotta agree that it's real money. And she's like, I think... Had a return policy? Yeah. So <laughs> So one of the first times that
Uh, I'm an artist and I, you know, painting big walls, that's a, that's a hard thing to just start. You know, about six years ago, I started this artist endeavor and uh, I had to think of a good way to find walls because I wasn't very good at the time, you know, and no one wants to just give you a wall in a business to paint. So I had to be creative. I had to think outside the box. So what I decided to do was go around to all the nicest nightclubs, bars, restaurants, and I would offer them free murals in their toilet stalls. Yeah, weird, right? Yeah, it's kind of weird. And then, and then I just got good at it. I did 25 bathroom stalls. And then people started recognizing me from it. They're like, hey, aren't you that bathroom painter? Aren't you that really good bathroom painter? Which sounds like I have professional diarrhea. I didn't want that. <laughs> but people usually ask me and say, Adam, why are you painting bathrooms? And I say two reasons. One, no one's competing for that. Right? No other artists are like, oh, I can't wait to get in that bathroom. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make the nicest art ever. Yeah, no. no competition. And two, power. Yes, power. It's a weird thing. Because everyone has the same reaction when they see my artwork. They walk into the bathroom. They go, huh. And then they take out their genitals. Yeah! <laughs> For real! Ever pull your dick out in a museum? Nope, that's a great way to get arrested. <laughs> I, I like to think that possibly I have had the most genitalia exposure to my artwork than any other artist in the world. That might be a weird metric to try to track, but yes, thank you.